today we are painting the PT Cruiser in the paint booth using an electric spray gun. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to More Motorsports Garage. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. So we are able to use the paint booth again. Uh, this isn't gonna be a permanent thing. I will have a limit on how much I can use the paint booth because they do run a business out of here, but we are blessed enough to use the paint booth again. Link is in the description for the YouTube channel of the person who runs this paint booth. Um, he's trying to grow his channel, so definitely go over there and follow his build. He's got some really awesome builds. Um, greatly appreciate it, wet work. Uh, paint and body here in Colleen, Texas for letting me use the shop. But uh, we're gonna be doing a matte black or a hot rod black theme on this PT Cruiser to make it similar to the one my dad had. Um, and we're gonna have red scallops later on down the road. It's gonna look really cool, I think. Um, but we're gonna be using tractor paint on this. We already have everything pretty much prepped. My boys and I um, spent the time getting it all sanded down and now it's basically ready to go. I've already wiped it, but we'll go through and wipe it with a tack cloth right before spraying. Um, with the matte black, it does lay smoother. So if it has any orange peel, a lot of that goes away as it dries. It's pretty cool how matte black paint works, at least through the electric spray gun. I've never used this electric spray gun before, so we'll see how it works. Um, if you guys don't remember, or if you haven't seen, I had another video where I used an electric spray, spray gun, did the Civic, a Massey Ferguson gray, basically a smoke gray. Um, and it turned out pretty good. We had to wet sand out a lot of orange peel, but on this we shouldn't have to. But yeah, we're gonna be using tractor paint again, and uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. So I'm going to time elapse uh, taping the windows up and wiping it all down again, and then we will go over the paint and all that stuff. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, now that I've got it plasticed and taped up, I'm gonna blow it off with an air hose and then use Rust-Oleum's tack cloth, wipe it down, then we'll go mix the paint up and get started. So I'm going to be mixing it up in this here. I'm going to pour the whole gallon in, the whole thing of uh, the hardener and the reducer. And then I'm going to strain it into this clean gallon here. So, here we go. That was all the hardener. And this is all the reducer. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. <laughs> and then mix it up thoroughly. Then we can strain it and put it in the gun. Now it's starting to look like the consistency of what I usually paint out of it, so that's good. It was too thick before. All right, now we're filtering it into this gallon using a mesh strainer filter thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, get that out of my fingers. 
be able to tell though. That should be good. <laughs> All right, now that we've got that, we're just gonna put the lid on it and move it out of the way. Then we've got the bucket for the gun. This is the gun. It's a pretty nice little setup. You can adjust it as needed. A little siphon tube goes all the way to the bottom. We're just gonna go ahead and fill this up, get it all plugged in, and we'll start painting. There it is. Now we're gonna hook this hose up right here in the bottom. And twist it, lock it in. All right, the fans are on. I'm gonna put the respirator on. We're gonna start spraying, so here we go. Okay, so far we've got this much done. There is quite a bit of orange peel. Uh, kind of to be expected, it wasn't putting out a bunch of high pressure. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it looks once it dries. I gotta go fill up the uh, container on the gun. But uh, overall, it's doing pretty good. We will see how it turns out when I'm finished. So I'm gonna go refill that and keep going. definitely recommend using just a little more thinner that means if you've got to buy two bottles of the thinner uh, just use a little bit more to make it come out a little smoother um, but yeah it's definitely looking pretty good so we're gonna let this dry up for a minute I'm gonna go put more paint in the gun then we will shoot the second coat and then it'll be good to go hope you guys are enjoying the video Okay, now 
that it's tacky, um, I'm gonna peel everything off while it's wet, like I do in all my videos. Uh, that's so that it doesn't peel chunks of the paint off. So I'm gonna time elapse that. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Okay, this is how much paint we have left, a half gallon. So it used a half gallon to do two coats and I laid the coats on pretty thick. So you definitely um, have enough to do four coats, most likely with this paint, um, if you're using the whole gallon. If you only mix half the gallon, you only use, have to use half the hardener and half the um, reducer. But in most cases, I would use the whole thing of reducer just on a half gallon so that it thins it out a little bit better and sprays better. But I ultimately recommend just using a HVLP spray gun. It is the best option. But if you're on a budget and you want something a little bit different, then definitely try the electric spray gun. I'll leave a link in the description for the Harbor Freight one and the one I used in this video. Um, but yeah, make sure you have stuff to mix it into. I gotta get a couple more pictures for the guys that gave me this. So huge thanks to them. But we're gonna go in and look at the car. Okay, it's reassembled now. Looks really good. Uh, we'll go over some more details about that electric spray gun here in a little bit. But uh, I really like how the chrome accents the black. And I didn't paint the mirrors, I took them off, so they're still the original factory black. But it looks really good. As you can see, the tape line right up to the seal. Very, very thorough. You want to make sure to get that very thorough. Uh, but yeah, definitely looks awesome. It's exactly what I wanted it to look like. Um, we're going to be doing the red scallops after this fully cures, and it's going to look really cool. Definitely an old school meets new school uh, vibe for sure. It's a 2006. Then we've got this visor piece up here. Um, it did crack my window, so now I need a new windshield. Uh, when I was installing that, it cracked. And I want to put the chrome edger around there. Uh, it's basically kind of like this stuff, but thin but yeah didn't turn out too bad at all um, but yeah I'm gonna let it dry a little bit more and we'll head back to my house and we'll go over some more details about the uh, electric spray gun so I hope you guys are enjoying the video all right it's definitely looking really nice that matte black looks good on this car for sure we got the polished chrome pieces up front definitely set it off pretty nice now this isn't a car show quality paint job by any means and I'm not claiming it is um, but this cheap electric sprayer works decent um, sadly the Harbor Freight one worked a little bit better so uh, it's up to you whether you want to try this one. If you have a thinner paint, not tractor paint, it may do good out of it. Um, I'm going to actually test it with water to see how it sprays with water in it versus that thick tractor paint. I cleaned it out with acetone, um, so just make sure to clean it out after every use. But overall, it's not too terrible, but uh, I would definitely prefer to have the $15 Harbor Freight gun. Um, the electric spray gun if we're going with the electric gun now obviously I prefer real spray guns when doing uh, actual paint like tractor paint or whatever it may be but in a pinch it works and I know a lot of you guys like the cheap DIY stuff that's why I tested this with that gun I do have an actual gun um, I could have used but I wanted to test it to see if it worked and it, and it did work but uh, we're gonna be putting the scallops on it after it's fully cured I believe Fully cured is seven days, so we'll have to let it dry. I'm going to pull it out into the sun tomorrow. Just let it sit in the sun. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's looking a lot better. I'm definitely going for that rat rod theme, that old school hot rod meets modern. This thing's super slow, and I don't have plans to make it fast. It's just a good uh, running car. And after I've enjoyed it a little bit, I will have it up for sale. I'm not exactly sure on the price yet, but that's all in the future. But, uh, yeah. 
Um, this max peating rod generator will actually run that, by the way. So that's pretty interesting news I wanted to share with you guys. If you guys didn't see the video on this, definitely check my videos on the max peating rod generator. It's a pretty good little generator. But yep, uh, there's a link in the description for this and the generator um, if anyone is curious. But uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned if you want to follow this build. Uh, it's not going to be anything too wild, but it will be a pretty cool little setup. But that's basically it for this. Huge shout out again to Wet Work uh, Auto Body and Paint in Colleen, Texas for letting me use their booth. Greatly appreciate it. We will have more stuff coming, I promise. So definitely stay tuned. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. But that's basically it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. And as I like to say, God bless. Stay safe. Stay awesome. <laughs>